Hey guys, welcome back. This is By the Book and we're your married relationship coaches. I'm Sent. I'm Sil. And today we're talking about Married at First Sight Season 17, Episode 17. I think so. Is that right? I think so. Okay. Wanted to talk a little bit more about Michael and Chloe. Mm -hmm. We haven't talked that much about them this season because, quite frankly, they just got here. So... <laughs> <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. when we talked last time, we talked about, um, Michael's eccentricities, if you will, yes. um, his feminine leaning behavior. And before you yeah. guys like jump all on top of that, it's not even my words. Like his wife says that he leans into his feminine. <laughs> He, he says did. that he mm -hmm. leans into his feminine. So it's not like I'm trying to hold him to some stereotypical masculine, you know, standards. Yeah. It's just a way that he self-identifies. Mm -hmm. And I don't really see that there's anything especially wrong with it as long as your partner is okay with that. Which brings me to discussing them and the difficulty that I think and I think she's clearly said that Chloe has with his femininity, I suppose. Now, with that said, I see a lot of masculine traits oh, without a doubt. in Michael as well. And mm -hmm. I see a lot of quality in Michael. Same. It's just that he is a lot to take <laughs> for a person who is kind of traditional. Uh -huh. In a sense. Um, and Pastor Cal knows that. That's why he brought it up when he, he had a sit down with them. Uh -huh. You know, like, you know, are you okay with this type of person? It's not easy for you to say something like that if somebody kind of isn't like off the beaten path. You know, <laughs> like he's he's a different type of a person. He marches to his own beat. And it's a lot. So what we saw this episode was Chloe take issue and kind of began to verbalize these things in a I don't know like subtle mm. semi-subtle kind of way mm. like the way she talked about his skirt mm -hmm. and the way like when she's with the group she talks about uh, his fashion sense or you know her jewelry situation all of these things you can just tell like they're they're eating at her a little bit and she's really trying to decide, just like we said last week, can I see enough quality in this person to uh -huh. overlook this stuff that's going to be uncomfortable for me, embarrassing for me, maybe. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, and what she said to the women, which is probably the most important thing. It creates a challenge for her in terms of like their sexual chemistry. Mm -hmm. I don't think that Michael knows that yet. That's it. So when he does know that, mm -hmm. I think the question is, you know, you guys speculate this with us as well. Like, how will he respond to it? Do you think that he will be resistant to, I don't know, her pushback about? that aspect of him mm. um, because while I feel like he's very accommodating and a good partner in a sense that he tries to meet his partner's needs I do also feel like he feels those things that are like eccentric about him are fundamental to who he is yeah. and he may be more entrenched in that than he is interested in making a change for her and I don't know that he necessarily should they just might not be for each other and mm -hmm. I, I'd be okay with that so what do you mm -hmm. think okay yeah uh, she's definitely not all right or okay with him wearing skirts she's saying it over and over again uh, <laughs> not so subtle it's more sarcastic mm -hmm. and, uh, and 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 sar sarcasm is a way of saying what your heart is really feeling you know and it can come out uh, and do more harm to the relationship, basically, because it's going to kill whatever intimacy that they possibly could have over a period of time. So 
I want to ask you a question. Uh-huh. I don't want to cut you off. Uh-huh. I just want to ask. So, are you saying you think that her sarcasm will kill the intimacy, or <laughs> his skirts <laughs> will kill the intimacy? Because I don't know if we can say. Okay, well, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Uh huh. You know, <laughs> <laughs> well, sarcasm is definitely not going to help this wow. situation. So she's going to have to. Kind of stir the pot a little bit um, and say what she needs to say in a respectful manner to him. Uh, because saying it the way she's saying it, that's just that's that's just not going to work, you know, in the long run. Um, and I think you're right. I just think it's more so in a perfect world <laughs> that you can readily identify, hey, this works for me. This doesn't work for me. Mm-hmm. Let me lay it out and tell this person if this is a deal breaker for me, like mm-hmm. X, Y, and Z. But I feel like in all of these situations, all the shows that we watch where they're matching up couples, I think that they're doing such an analysis in their own head mm-hmm. in terms of saying, can I, can't I, can I, can't I? And I feel like it's such an internal battle that they're not prepared to say to that other person, this is a deal breaker because they don't know fully yet. They haven't fully decided in their mind if it's a deal breaker. So I think it's harder for her to just come out and tell him that. Yeah. But we're seeing her internal struggle come out as Uh the sarcasm that you're talking about. And yeah, it, it may be damaging to the relationship, but the relationship may not be salvageable anyhow it may it may not be but until they begin to have the conversations that they need to have they're not going to know it for sure um they just basically kicking the, the can down the road hoping for the best and i've seen way too many relationships fail doing that or they just stay, stay together and they're just both miserable so yeah you're gonna have to have the hard conversation <laughs> he seems yeah. perfectly fine he's wholly oblivious Really, of course. I think that this ignorance stuff is, is, is getting on her nerve. Yeah, ignorance, um, is, ignorance is bliss. I'm sorry, I'm yawning on you guys. Y'all just don't know. Having a six-month-old is wild. <laughs> um, but I'm not bored of this conversation. I, I just, it's, it's an interesting one. Mm-hmm. Because Michael is such, he just, you, he, you can't put him in a box. No. You know what I mean? No. no. It's, it, it, he's just not one thing or the other. Uh-huh. He's he's so multidimensional. Yes. When you see him go to the obstacle course thing, the ninja warrior or whatever it is. He, he run it. He and yeah, it. and he's he's killing it. And that's not to say like that's just a man thing and this mm-hmm. these are just you know, but his athleticism, she said herself, Chloe said herself, was attractive to her. Um, Masculine. To I her. think right. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, I think that a lot of women would respond to that in that way. But then here you come off of the obstacle course and put your skirt back on. And it's like mind boggling, I'm sure, for her. Like, how do I, I I can't, like, can you just be this ninja dude (laughs) for the duration? Uh And then I can work with that. Um, Uh, Going back to your original question, mm -hmm is this whole femininity is the way and again that's how they they're phrasing it so we're going to continue to phrase mm-hmm. it the way they phrase it um uh, is it so fundamental to him that if she did bring it up to him would it be something that he can change for her i don't that's know that's a lot to I, ask I, I, it, it is uh, but I, I don't know he's he's um, at this big age uh-huh. he's like what 38 39 yeah. years old uh-huh. something like that I don't feel like that's an easy thing to just flip on or off Mm -hmm. for him. I'm okay with Michael just the way he is. Mm -hmm. I just am not okay with him for her. You know, they really needed to find him a good match. And to Mm -hmm. be quite frank, I don't know what's going on in Colorado, but the pool must be awful. Mm -hmm. Because these matches that they've come up with, Mm -hmm. each and every one of them Mm -hmm. is awful. Now, will somebody say yes to Decision Day? 
maybe, probably. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have any hope for this season in the way that I've hoped for any other season in the past. Like, this is all bad. It's gotten worse. And to be fair, finding somebody when in what seems like such a, a bad pool full of people yeah. for somebody like Michael seems impossible. I... Yeah. Yeah, what from just, what they've shown us. Yeah, yeah. Before before we go to yeah. the Colorado thing, yeah, <laughs> the uh, the whole fundamental thing to him, the dresses, uh, the skirt. I'm sorry, the skirts. Um, I don't know if that's something that he can change. I really don't. Right. But I do believe that when you get married, when there are things that you can change or work on for your spouse. I think that you should, um, and and I know one thing that I can work on may not be something that somebody else can work on, and something that Scent can work on may not be something that someone else can work on. So I know it's going to be a, a give and take per couple, per personality, and and I and I do get that, but I do still believe that when you get into a marriage, that there's going to have to be some compromise, and there's going to have to be some changing with both as they kind of like go on. You're not going to be the same person exactly as the first day you got married 10 years down the line. You're just not. Be mm -mm. I, I, I get you. Mm -hmm. I think it's like a tedious balance though, right? Mm -hmm. Because you have some things that are so fundamental to who you are. Mm -hmm. You have things that you thoroughly enjoy um, independent of the person that you're with. Yeah. Right? So if what they're saying is in order for me to accept you, in order for me to like you or love you wholly, I need you to change this thing that's kind of important to who you are, it can build up kind of a resentment. I get it. And that would be my concern for them is that she probably could ask him to stop wearing skirts or you know to try to embrace his masculine side mm -hmm. more often or entirely and, and not not showcase that feminine side but it comes at a cost you mm -hmm. know anything that you're going to give up that is important to you and i bring up his age because i think sometimes we fluctuate in our youth in terms of things we experiment with and you know, may come and go for us as like a phase or a fad. But I think by the time you are deep into your 30s and, and perhaps into your 40s, you've settled in on who you are. You've gotten this comfort and yeah. this confidence in who you are. And so I do feel like for him, that's a very big part of who he is for whatever mm -hmm. reason. I can't necessarily personally understand it, mm -hmm. but for him, that's his thing. Yeah. And I think if he's forced to give that up for the sake of this marriage, mm -hmm. it's going to come at a cost that's going to be to the detriment, ultimately, of the I, marriage. I, I, I get it. I mean, because there are certain things. I mean, if, if, if Scent came to me and was like, hey, I'm attracted to skinny jeans. I don't wear skinny jeans, y'all. So You can work was... with skinny jeans? Like... <laughs> It seemed like a big, a so, big deal. Like for me, for me, that would be that's a, a deal breaker. Big, I, I wouldn't say it would be a deal breaker. <laughs> oh my god! But it would be a huge deal, you know, for me to try to make that change, you know. But I do love my wife enough to where I would definitely try, you know. I would definitely try. I may, I may go kicking and screaming the whole time and the whole way. And I maybe continue to talk to him. Look, baby, I don't. I did, they don't feel right. They don't look right. This is not me. You know, I may have to go through the I'm whole have thing. To put but you at in least the skinny jeans, and, and we gonna have to show the people <laughs> sailing <in> skinny jeans. <laughs> baby, I did that as an example. No, no, I think that's a great example. Actually, no, no, no. I think we've decided upon something right here. No, we did with our with. <laughs> With all of our friends. <laughs> no, no, we didn't. And they want to see you. If y'all want to see Sale in skinny jeans. No, you don't. Please comment no. below. No. <laughs> you should have said it. You should have <laughs> said it. <laughs> 
Oh, man. Uh, I, was just, I was trying to make a point. Point and, made. Uh, point no, taken. No, no, no. Anyway, uh-huh. back to the subject at hand. Michael. Uh-huh. Yeah, Michael. That dude in Colorado wearing the skirts. So, I do think if she approached him in, in a way, it's some kind you know, and I get the fundamental thing of who he is, but as, since this is your wife now, and I'm not saying that this, this, the whole femininity and the skirt thing could be something that he could work on. I don't know. Right. You know? And you don't know, but, I think, yeah. is your point until, it, she has the until she has the conversation. I get that. Yeah. And I think you're right. I mm-hmm. think she has to get in that mental headspace for herself mm-hmm. where she says, okay, yep, I can't do this. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, for us to go forward, I am going to have to ask him to change. Yeah. Um. And then she probably will have that conversation because I do think that both of them are relatively mature. Yeah. I see them approaching conversations in a rather in a rather mature manner, and I can appreciate that about them uh, a great deal. Mm-hmm. Uh, she has her little breakdowns, and as we saw in the previews, seems like she's going to ask for some space. Mm. And I think the moment that we saw that preview, my question to Sale was, well, do you think that has to do with the skirts and, you know, stuff? (laughs) (laughs) And uh, I I think your response was that it probably was. Mm -hmm. So, you know, is it coming to a head? Is she not addressing it directly? I'm not really sure about that, but I, I just feel like once she comes to terms with the fact that she truly can't deal with that, she is going to have that conversation with him. Mm. And that will probably be a make or break moment for them. All right. Well, let the games begin. I mean, so it's, 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 it's about to go down. Yeah. Uh, so I, I don't want it for them. Cause they, I do like both of them individually. I uh, and, and I can't say that for, <laughs> <laughs> just about anybody else this season. Yeah. But those two people, I kinda like those. They 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 you know, they're they, they seem decent. You know what I mm-hmm. mean? Um and like you said, they do seem very mature. Um they seem like they both are ready for this process. Uh uh you know, but I, I said a few things uh, about Chloe, you know, last week. I kinda stand by them. I, I do think she has some 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 um some highs as far as her emotional uh, um, stability, I guess you can you can say. Uh, <laughs> okay. So she gets some highs, and it does seem like those lows are gonna kind of like overtake sometimes. But all in all, I think she's okay. Yeah, and I think he's pretty like good her. as well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I don't know. You guys, let us know what you think. I want to know from the ladies if y'all think y'all could deal with a skirt wearing. You know, borrow your earrings, kind of guy. I'm curious about that. You know, we should set up a poll. I, I'm just curious because I think that the older you get, the more you can see the value in a person and try to look beyond some of the stuff that it, some of us may regard as superficial. But there's some stuff that's just a little bit too much to handle. And like for personally for me, even at my age, <laughs> I don't think I will. I, I don't think I could get past it. I may be a little bit too shallow for my years, mm-hmm. but I think that would bug me too much mm-hmm. to move on. So I would have to be in the yes, I, I can't do it column. Mm-hmm. But I'm curious, you know, to a lot of our viewers are in our age group. Um, what do you guys think about that? Like, yeah, you know, do you think you could deal with it? Um, and will she? So, I think you better keep running those obstacles. Just courses. live in the obstacle course. <laughs> <laughs> keep living out your dream as, an, yeah. as a ninja warrior, man. Because that was obviously working. He gonna for find me. a way to do it in a skirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? One step forward, three steps back. I, I, mm. Hey. Anyway, guys, drop those comments below. Let us know your thoughts. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll talk to you all soon.